Right, so let's have a closer look guys. What I'm going to do is have a look and see what I can see in there. But first of all, I want to show you this. How interesting is that? Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm in Kille in County Offaly. Um, we're just at an old Church of Ireland church here and graveyard. So I'm going to take you inside um, and have a look around, read some of the old stones that's in here. See what we can come across. Um, it's a beautiful looking graveyard. A lot of headstones there, litching on them. And that's the beautiful church. So I'll take you over and we'll look at this. This is a bell here, I believe. We'll have a closer look underneath. Yeah, it is an old bell. Look at that. You can see all the mechanical parts to it there, how it works. Very interesting. And just on the wall here then, at the side of the church, we have 1644. So that must have been when this church, our previous church, our previous church was founded here, in the old graveyard. Very quiet here, countryside. Um, there used to be, it looks like over there, a door at one time. Maybe that was the old, entrance into the side of the church there's a few st headstones here that have fallen over tabletop tombs but it is one of those old graveyards that's very peaceful here um nobody around really here in the area couple of graves So we'll go over this direction and read whatever we can. Snowdrops here, yeah? Look at that. There's one under the tree here, a grave. It's very hard to read that though. Look at all that brush, bush and uh, overgrowth. So here we have a loving memory of Richard Henry Eyre Faulkner, who died the 24th of March, 1928, and his wife, Mary Catron Eleanor, who died in 1940, and her daughter, Florence, and she passed away in 19. 90 some really old surrounding here the grave look at all that this one is kind of leaning over here it's fallen in loving memory of thomas west who died the 15th of may 1886 age 62 and his wife Susan and she died the 26th of February 1915 aged 88 also Mary their daughter and Mary died on the 13th of October 1932 look at all that beautiful green moss on the headstone and more snowdrops An old tire there maybe in a bucket or something i don't know how that got there but maybe somebody had a swing there or something a tire on it look at the colors on this orange lichen or lichen people call it as well um and a small little miniature headstone beside it and this one just says here a a like n that could be like andrew or alan 
and then WN would be the surname and there's a love heart on it look at that so maybe I don't know if it's a child's grave or not what is lovely design on it um, hard to see here what this is I can see the name Elizabeth April the 28th um, 17, 90, 17 99. age and it's hard to see the age. I wonder are they connected? We can't just, it's pretty we can't see the... Um, D, uh, and Daniel. Or is it Daniel? Daniel and then whatever. Kennedy? Daniel. Kearney. Kern. I'm sure. Yeah, it's hard to know. Uh, it is nice though. Look at that headstone. It looks like it's gold gold and the green and green white and gold the Irish colors oh, yeah. <laughs> people comment a lot in our videos don't they about our accent yeah they love the Irish accent the Irish brogue the Irish brogue yeah no inscription on that headstone no, oh yeah, this is just their old uh, beer bottles or something, are they? Another tabletop. Oh yeah, really old one here, isn't it? Looks like it. Here light the body of William. William Catron, is it? It says William Catron. Um, Eleanor. So it says here lies the body of William Catron and then Eleanor. Is it just oh, it's the bodies, B O D Y. Or the bodies of William Catron. No, it's the spelling error. The bodies of William yeah. Catron and Eleanor, yeah. Interesting. Look at that overgrown route iron around that one. Look, very wild, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a tree group. Tabletop there. We have one here. It says, "In fond memory of George Watson, who died the twenty-fifth of October, eighteen ninety-two, aged seventy-one years old, and he's also." Caroline Watson, who died in 1942, aged 75. And then here we have more Watsons. Oh, I love this name. Erected by Jane Watson in loving memory of her son, Archibald Watson, oh. um, who died the 26th of January, 1868, aged only six years old. Also, Archibald Watson Sr., who died the 27th of October, 1877, age 66. And then we have a George, age 21, died in 1895. A Henry died in 1916, age 47. So little Archibald Watson, only six years old. Sad, 18, isn't it? 1868, rest in peace. His short trousers and his long socks. Yeah, you know, sometimes oh. you kind of... Put a picture in your mind, don't yeah. you, about people, what they looked like yeah. oh. um, back in the 1800s. Oh, wow. Look at this one. Very, very neglected, this one, isn't it? The tree has grown up through it. Has, uh, the roots there yeah. are growing in around it there. Very hard to see what's in there. A Christmas tree <laughs> in the middle of the graveyard. A bit late for Christmas, we're in February now. It still looks really fresh. Maybe they threw it out just around the graveyard here, did they? I wonder did the, who threw that there, a Christmas tree. It's, it's really fresh still though. It is fresh, yeah. It's like, this is what, February, middle of February? Strange. Very strange. Look at the tree there, the way all the... There's a name for those trees over there. Is it a weeping there. willow? Yeah, it does look like the weeping willow. Oh, if anybody so cool. knows if that's correct, is that a weeping willow? Let me know in the comments creepy. below. Um, it is nice though. Yeah. 
another area just in here there's a headstone underneath this tree hidden in there look at that um i might have to go around the other way what's this oil can or something a football Yeah, there's one in here under the tree. Look at that. I'm going to get in here and read it for you. Just here. So it says, This stone was erected by John Kinch. Late. Colonel Sergeant of His Majesty's. Look at that. 36th Regiment. Talking of his respect for his father, George Kinch, who departed this life 21st of November 1898, age 47. So that's interesting there. Look at that, guys. So the stone was erected by John Kinch, late Colonel Sergeant of His Majesty's 36th Regiment. Wow interesting always interesting to see stuff from military back in the 1800s and when it says majesty on it as well um a couple of graves in there just can't read them They're it's really weathered uh, very very hard to read with the lichen and the moss and stuff that's on them now this area here is very interesting so the can is just left up against the wall there out of the way try and keep it some way tidy now these are vaults here um that's the entrance for this that one i don't know so i don't know what that is guys if anybody understands latin and you can read that maybe you need to pause the video that's it katrina prinus nuptris johannes Contus de Desat, is it? Price. Anno 73, that means age 75, yeah. is it? Age 75. So, do pause the video if you need to read that, because I don't understand. And this one is the same. And this one next door is the same. But this is a different kind of design in front, and this structure to it. Looks like Latin as well. Um, looks like Jane on that as well, just there. You can see the Roman numerals on it. Wow. So that must be the vault. And then up the here, entrance. Looks like Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Elizabeth Morris, is it? Yeah. Cecil, is it? Elizabeth Morris. Clarice, is it? It's all in um, Latin or something. I don't know. It's very, very hard to read it. I'll have to look back and edit and see. It's so hard to read, unfortunately. More graves here. Now, this oh. looks like a vault as well. It does. You can see, kind of you can see the now. crack in the middle of it there. Um, this one is covered in moss. Not possible to read. Beautiful route iron around this chain. Look at that for chain. Never seen a style like that. No, that's beautiful. Where they're linked together. And these, look at the way these are. They're almost like the towers. They're like the, the round towers. The round towers, yeah. Look at that. That chain is some detail, isn't it? Look at this one has something on it. Or down the bottom, yeah. Let's see. P and H Egan Tullamore. Wow. So we're in Offaly at the moment. So P and H Egan are the people who made this wow. in Tullamore. So that's definitely 1800s. Oh, yeah. So I'll have to look that up and if I can find anything, I'll put it over the video. That's amazing. The craftsmanship there. So they must have made all those types of designs and for graves as well. So this is obviously, I think, belong to this grave here and this is in memory of Margaret 
Francis Handy. Now that's a surname I haven't seen. Handy, have you? I think so. The beloved wife of Alexander Kingston Handy of Park House, County Mead. Eldest daughter of Robert Weldon Tarleton of Newtown House, Kings County. So Offaly, I think, is, is known as the Kings County. That was the old name for it. Um, she departed this life the 4th of March, 1881, aged 50 years. So that's very interesting. I'll have to look up um, the names of those houses and see can I find info on them added to the video. There's a hole in the vault there. So we've looked at those. But there is another vault in the corner here. Look at that. Thorns again here. Wild bush. There's a hole here in this Oh, I don't know what. This was the old part of the church. This looks like the old part of yeah, the monastery or whatever was yeah. here. Yeah, I think it's private now. So there's a name on this fall, Tarleton. Now I've just after reading a headstone over there that said the surname Tarleton. So that must be the, a family that's connected to the people buried in this vault. And just up behind, there's a plaque there. It says Elizabeth. Constance Tarleton, 1862. Um, and it's hard kind of to read the rest. It says John Michael Tarleton, I think, as well as there, age 77. So these are the Tarleton family. And you can just see. Abby. And you can see, the, see that arch in there that's on the roof of the vault. That does look like it was part of an old abbey. It does say the abbey on his head, sir. Does it? Yeah. I'll go over that side and we'll have a read of this. Just on this one. So just on that plaque there, where I'm pointing there, it says John William Tarleton of the Abbey, Calais, died the 15th of December 1896, aged 63 years old. So there's the name, Tarleton again, and the Abbey. And it does look like when you stand back here, but even this part. and all this wall, the ruin of an old Abbey, yeah? But next is private though, isn't it? You can't get in. Um, I think it's private now, there's people actually living there. So we'll try and don't fall. I nearly try fell. Don't fall. I nearly fell over that time. <laughs> right, so let's have a closer look guys. What I'm going to do is have a look and see what I can see in there. But first of all, I want to show you this. How interesting is that? A dragon. Look at the tongue sticking out. And that must be the family crest. And we see the name Tarleton on the door of the vault. I just love that, the dragon, look at that. If you had to get something like that done on like a tattoo, yeah. how cool would that be even? Next tattoo coming up? Next tattoo, no, <laughs> not, maybe not. That would be just too weird, wouldn't it? Yeah. I'd be going around with a Tarleton the crest. crest on me. So guys, there is holes here. I'll have a look inside and see what I can see in here. Right guys, so I did try and have a look in there and unfortunately, which is strange, behind the iron door there, there's concrete. So it's like it's blocked up behind the door. Um, concrete wall there. So it's not possible to see anything in there. But interesting all the same. We got to read the plaques. Very cool um, design on the door there, the dragon as well. The Tarleton family vault. So overgrown though. Overgrown and forgotten. 
And all these people, you know, would have been very wealthy back in the day and probably contributed to the contributed church. towards the church. We've seen that before and they're just forgotten about then. It's sad. Very sad that people were devoting their lives to the church and all that growth around the vault as well needs to be cleaned. Um so that's that. We've seen those ones there. And a couple around. A nice one here. The shaking of the hands. Look at that. In loving memory of Jane. Fawcett. No, I haven't seen that name before. But I've heard of Farrah Fawcett, the famous yeah. actress. So here we have the a similar here, the surname Fawcett. Uh, died the 10th of February 1901, age 79, and her husband Peter Fawcett, May 1911, aged 89 years old. Look at that beautiful, isn't it? Gorgeous. The death shroud. In life, yeah, the shroud and the suit. The shroud and the suit. Life and death. Joining together. So the name Fawcett. And I like finding ones, you know, with surnames that I haven't seen before. And it helps people because there is people that comment on the channel as well. Hopefully you'll find a certain surname. They're ancestors of mine. So I hope you find some of these names and you get a connection. So a beautiful graveyard guys here. Another one here. Here light the body of Daniel Brian. Brian, who departed this life December, looks like, the 11th, 1758, aged four, uh, what's that there? 55. Beautiful headstone, and it's going to one side, 1700s. Look at the wall even around it. There's nothing on that. Yeah. So, like the entrance is The nice. entrance way coming in is lovely, yeah. And the bell. And that sky in the background. But look at that tree. How amazing is that? It would be lovely now when it, it blooms. When it's blooming, yeah. yeah. The weeping willow tree. Sure it is. It does look like it. Yeah. Deadly. Beautiful. Some stone markers here, no inscription. People who couldn't afford a headstone probably just left a stone marker there. The weather is getting a bit better, so that's good that we can get around to do the videos as well. Tabletop tomb there as well looks like a bottle of vodka left on top of this grave so I'm going to remove it out of there um, and put it somewhere so here, look at this grave here it's beautiful the design on it Stonework. Look at that. So it says erected by Jane E. Warren in memory of her husband William George Warren, who died at Gorchin on the fourth of January eighteen seventy eight in his thirty third year. Also their child George Whitfield Warren, who died October 1882, aged seven years old. Emily Warren, and died in 1922, aged 50. And so on there. 
the Warren family. And it's hard to pick up that headstone, what it looks like with the sun is shining. But it gives you an idea there. Lord have mercy on the soul of Derby Berry, who departed this life the 6th of June, 1764, aged 39 years old. Also his wife, Sarah Berry, aged 71. And his grandson, Thomas, in 1805, aged 17 years old only. So from this very, very interesting place, guys, I think I'm going to wrap it up there. Just looking at that tree again. Um, beautiful old graveyard. Interesting there, the vaults of the Tarleton family. And the bell and the church and everything that's here. So if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. And subscribe to the channel. And get, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of the video. And I'll see you on the next adventure.